Oh, there it goes. Ooh. Oh my god, tail touched the power line. Hi, thanks for watching. I'm Alex. This is AMRC. Today I'm working on my Eclipson Model A. If you've watched my previous video on this, it didn't go that well uh, trying to uh, take off. Now, besides the motor mount and this part of the fuselage is cracked, but it should be fixable if I wanted to. But I've decided to try and print it in lightweight PLA and hopefully uh, it will go a lot better. I won't be adding landing gear. I'll uh, try to uh, hand launch. And with uh, the lightweight PLA, I hope I I'll uh, be able to get a CG with a lighter battery. I was using a 2200 3S. I'll go with a 1000 3S in uh, the lightweight. And uh, just some small uh, improvements I've made. I've added some uh, carbon fiber here. It's a tube. I've screwed these... Uh, uh, should I call them rubber band holders into that to give it some uh, rigidity other than that it's uh, pretty much the same with this one just the material feels uh, very different if you can see on uh, the regular PLA it's quite stiff it's also easier to crack I've glued this numerous times even before I've uh, Oh, see, there's another crack. It's uh, kind of brittle. It might be just the PLA I've used, but with the lightweight PLA, uh, obviously the main advantage is it's uh, lighter, but it also feels a bit more flexible, more forgiving. The texture of it is sort of like uh, cardboard. I don't know uh, how it would... Uh, I have a rough landing, but I guess I'll find out. Just have to uh, finish installing the electronics in this. And hopefully, if uh, weather allows, I'll uh, be doing the maiden soon. This is uh, the wing. I've added some color to it this time. Hopefully, it will fly good. And uh, all that work won't be for nothing. Now, uh, in the fuselage, I've been slowly transferring electronics as I was building it, so I didn't get to uh, check the weight difference. But now I have uh, both bare wings, the regular PLA and the lightweight PLA. I just want to see the weight difference. Let's start with the PLA wing. Okay, that's 222 grams. And let's check the lightweight one. Wow, exactly 100 grams. Uh, honestly, I'm uh, impressed. It's less than half the weight. It doesn't uh, feel that way. Of course, with electronics battery, the weight uh, difference won't be that significant but it's really really impressive now, both of these were printed using uh, the G codes provided by Eclipson with the files you can get them for free also so wish me luck I'll finish assembling this and hopefully I'll have a successful maiden soon okay guys this is it completed the Eclipson Model A and lightweight PLA Gonna try to hand launch it. I'll keep this short. If uh, you haven't already, you can see more details in my previous video with the PLA version. So let's go. Hey guys, here it goes. Really excited, but also very nervous. I'll try and do it here. Okay. 
some bad vibration at higher throttle but oh there it goes Ooh. there it goes Ooh. oh my god tail touched the power line it's flying guys Not using a lot of throttle, maybe 25%. Oh my god, this is exciting. Wants to climb. I am using safe. I wanted to give it the best chance to, uh, I could that it will fly. Oh my god, it's it's just gliding. There's no power now. Let me take it out of safe. Still no power. That's so stable. I'm out of safe. Just wanting to climb. Okay, trim it out a bit. I think something happened to the motor. Let me kick it back in safe. I think the motor mount broke. Man, it flies so good. I'll just try and glide it down. It has tons of rudder. Yeah, the whole motor's dangling. Oops. Okay, let's go see what happened. Okay, unfortunately it didn't survive in piece, but I think it's fixable. Yeah, the motor mount, mount broke. Oh man, and it was flying so good. Really, really happy with this. So yeah, there's a bit of damage. Whew! Yeah, I'm a bit speechless now. Maybe I should uh, try without the spinner next. Maybe it's uh, causing the vibrations. Or try to balance the prop better. Although I did try it looked balanced. Wow. That was really, really cool and exciting. Now, usually I'm not happy after a crash or crash landing like this, but uh, this is easily rebuildable as far as I can see if not I can just print the whole thing all over again but it it flew really really well it seemed like it was a bit tail heavy I have the battery pushed back almost as far as I can get it to get the CG they recommend but maybe that's too tail heavy so I'll be rebuilding this if you have any suggestions for the motor mount let me know I'll be happy to hear what you think. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.